If you love movies and movie discussions, you've come to the right place. Who am I, you ask? I am The Wiz, and I'm here today to review the 2021 biography drama Spencer, starring Kristen Stewart and Timothy Spall, directed by Pablo Lorraine. It's December, everybody, so basically what I'll be doing is watching movies with Christmas themes in them, or if they're set in Christmas. I don't want to do like all Christmas movies because I, I do three a week, and honestly, I get sick of it after a while. So I'm going to go with movies that are also set in Christmas. And the first one I decided to do was Spencer, the movie that got a Kristen Stewart Academy Award nomination for her portrayal as Princess Diana. I think the one thing that we should discuss right away is that biopics tend to come in like really one flavor, and that is this is what happened and boom, there it is. And then it has a usually a very good or great performance by the actors portraying a specific person who is made to look like that person. But what I've noticed recently with a lot of biopics, specifically biopics with singers, they basically get shit on because they don't really do anything different with the, the storyline and other than, hey, this is what happened. Hey, did you know this happened? And it doesn't get too in-depth to the actual person that it's portraying or it's talking about. And I've got to be honest, Spencer does something a little different, but in this case, I think Spencer also does certain things wrong. This film is set 10 years after Princess Diana married Prince Charles at Christmas time with the royal family, and she's going through a lot of problems, a lot of mental health problems, to say. She's suffering from bulimia, and she's also dealing with the fact that her husband is cheating on her. There are things I like about the movie, and there's things that I think were amiss. But the one thing that is not amiss, uh, and this is a surefire hit, is Kristen Stewart's performance. It is incredibly convincing as Diana. There are scenes in this movie where I was surprised when I was watching. Because you know those type of performances when you're watching and you kind of forget that this is actually a performance? This happens in this movie. Except at extreme close-ups when you can tell it's Kristen Stewart. Well, there's actually a lot of close-ups in this movie. It's meant to make you a little uncomfortable. But Kristen Stewart does an amazing job playing a convincing Princess Diana. Again, I was very surprised. Not that I'm surprised that Kristen Stewart does this. She's actually a very good actress. When I heard Kristen Stewart as Diana, I was like, eh, I don't know. She did almost everything right in this. I think another plus that this film does very well is the mental health aspects of the film. Like I said, Diana is going through a lot. She's uh, heading towards divorce. She's finding out their husband's cheating on her. She's not doing very well with the family. And on top of that, she's suffering from bulimia. And these are some distressing scenes if you have dealt with bulimia. So I will give you a warning on that. If you have, you may not want to watch this. But Kristen Stewart's performance, I think, is what really makes the mental health stuff really work. And I think the way the film is shot during those specific scenes of her being paranoid, of her feeling claustrophobic. Like, I think the way that the film is directed on that end is done really well. Just the feeling of paranoia, of just unease that you feel in certain scenes with Diana, especially in the beginning, I think is very well done. The, the way that the film does this is that they have a lot of close-up shots with Diana speaking with certain people and with certain family members. And as the film goes forward, the camera just starts panning back and back and back. It's a feeling of a control that she's starting to get from her life and it's actually I think very well done speaking of I think the film is shot very attractively I think it's a beautiful looking film but I will also say it's a little too indulgent and what I mean by that is there's a lot of scenes in this film where a straight shot would be just fine or something that was very simple to just let Kristen Stewart do her thing would be much better but instead they kind of go with different types of camera angles it's not bad, but I think it's a little distracting, where I think centering it on Kristen Stewart would probably be the better shot in this. If there's one big problem I have with the film, I think the more symbolic, the more interpretive stuff in the film just does not work. I do give the film credit for deciding to do a little something different with the film, because this is really an artistic interpretation. I don't think this is a really a one-to-one -one of what happened, but the film goes to other crazy lengths in the film to show the worsening state of Diana's mental health. I don't think that was really necessary. I think Kristen Stewart does a better job just showing it on her face and showing it performatively that she is just very uneasy. And her performance is so good, I think that could have worked very well. But there are scenes in the film where she does some unsettling stuff. 
And then there's this whole thing with Anne Boleyn that they're trying to do a one-to-one -one comparison. Like, uh, Anne Boleyn got her head chopped off for the lies of the king, and she's going to get her head chopped off uh, figuratively by the media and by the family for what her husband is doing behind her back. I get it, but I also think it was a little too on the nose. I think I understand what they're trying to do, but the power in that was just not there. I think, honestly, just concentrating on Kristen Stewart and letting her do her thing and getting away from all that, I guess, the creative stuff, the more symbolic stuff, I think if they cut that out, I think it would have been better off. But again, I don't want to fault them too much for trying something different. But on the other hand, when it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. So overall, I'm going to recommend Spencer. However, I, I will say that this is purely a performance piece movie. If you are not a fan of Kristen Stewart, just avoid it. It's not really worth it. But if you just want to see a movie that just shows a, a very good performance, I'll, I'll even say a great performance by Kristen Stewart, this will be the only reason why you watch this. Other than that, it's a decent movie about mental health, but really the whole highlight of the film is Kristen Stewart's performance and seeing her go through the transformation and going through everything as Diana. There are certain aspects of the story I just did not like. And this is one of those few instances where I would say a simpler story, a more direct story, I think would have been better than to put all the metaphorical and symbolistic stuff in the film. I think that kind of distracts from the main point of the film and from Kirsten Stewart's performance. But overall, I will recommend Spencer. I saw it on Hulu and Disney Plus, so check that out if you haven't seen it. Now, if you want my full review on this movie, you can go to my website at, at IamTheWiz.com. You'll have my full written review right on the site, along with a link to the video that has this review that you've just listened to. Thank you for listening to this review. If you want to know what we're reviewing in the next couple days, you can look on the screen right now to see what's coming up next. If you like what you heard, go ahead and leave a like on this video. If you want to discuss your opinion on the film or the review itself, please leave a comment. And if you want to hear more, subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for listening. I will talk to you next time.